Okay, today I'll be teaching you guys out there who do not know how to tie a freestyle bow tie. I just learned how to tie one maybe three weeks ago. And it takes some practice. Uh, it's definitely not an easy knot, but it can become easy over time if you practice. This tie that I'm wearing right now, I tie it by myself. But it was frustrating to learn how to tie it. So I'm going to untie it and show you how to do it all over again. And the reason why most guys don't wear a bow tie is because they don't know how to tie one. So I'm going to give you my best shot here. You start off like this, you have your shirt ready, collar up. You're going to want to cross the bow tie like this. Okay? And then you're going to want to take this piece and tie it like a knot. Just fold it under. I'll do it again just to show you. Two pieces are together. Make sure your tie is nice and flat. There's also a measuring piece in the back right here. It kind of shows you the size of your neck so you can figure out, let's see, what size neck you have. It's kind of upside down, but I think you get the point. Put the tie back on. Cross it over. Tie it like a regular knot right over the top. You know, like you're tying a knot. Okay? This is how it should look. This piece should be here on your left. And the other piece straight down. Hang with me now. It looks like a hard knot, but it's really not that hard. Then you're going to take this bottom piece and you're going to fold it up like that. Now it looks like a bow that's straight up and down from your chin down to your chest. But then you're going to take it and kind of turn it like a propeller. Now it looks like a half a bow. Okay, you hold it there for a second so you can get yourself together and do the same knot. I don't want to go too fast because when I learned how to tie this, the guy was going so fast that I couldn't get it. And I was really frustrated. And I threw the tie against the wall. So, you take this piece that's remaining and you put it right here, right over the middle. See it's over the middle like that? And you push this up to where the button is on your shirt. See that button? You push the tie right up to the button because you want it to be snuck. Okay? And you hold that there and take the outside pieces, these two outside pieces, and you put them together like that. Okay? You hold those two pieces together. You take your thumb and you push it through this knot that's right here where my fingers are right at the top. Take the thumb, see where my thumb is? Push it right through. Now you're gonna have to fumble with it a little bit to get the knot to go through, or the bow to go through. But as, I, as you can see, up close, it's through. So it looks like a crazy knot. Well, what's this guy doing here? Where's the bow? All right, so you get back to the bow tie. What you're going to do, you're going to try to start shaping it. Starting to look like a bow, but not quite a bow yet. Let's center it a little bit. You got your bottom piece and your top. So you're going to want to fiddle with it a little bit. Both sides. Make sure they're together like that. That's part of the bow. And then you have this front piece. Actually, the back piece of the bow, you flip back up. Straighten it like that with your hands, just to kind of steady it. Now, this is no bow here. It's just, just a, a flat piece. But in the back of it, there's the bow that we pushed through from before. The second part of the bow. It's starting to look like a bow tie now. It's just about there. What I have found is you have to hold this piece here 
and make it straight and then go into the back and hold opposite ends. So this is the front loop and it's got a back. This is the back of the other side and here's a loop. Now it's kind of hard to explain when you're a rookie like myself, but it does resemble a bow tie. Now you're going to want to tighten it. Now when you first learn how to tie it, it's going to seem kind of weird. You're going to like, well, how's the ball going to stay together? Put your hand in the back and hold the opposite side of the bow. This is the back, this is the front. Back, front, back, front. Pull those two together a little bit and that tightens the bow around here. And that's what makes it a knot to make it look like a bow. Then you're going to do the opposite on the other side, but not too much, just a teeny bit. Okay, because if you pull too hard, you're going to lose the whole bow. Okay? So I'm going to finagle it a little bit and I want it to look perfect because I'm stepping out. This is a freestyle tied bow tie. Got both ends, the front piece and the back. Put them back together. It's on the center. Put your collar down. Under it, flip these back up and voila, look at that. And you're going to have to play with it a little bit to make both ends look, you know, as perfect as you want. You can get the mirror sent to yourself. And look at that. A freestyle bow tie. And remember, a lot of guys don't wear these bow ties because they don't know how to tie it. So once you learn how to tie it, the first thing you're going to do is go, yes, I learned how to tie a bow tie. And then you're going to want to go to the store and buy some to match them up with all your cool shirts you have in your closet. So if I were you, I would practice this same knot over and over. The night I learned how to do it, I must have did it 50 times or less. Or It was a lot. And I was so proud of myself that I learned how to finally tie a bow tie. Everybody's wearing bow ties. It's a classy look. You can get all kinds of colors. Uh, material uh, you can get anything for any season if it's Valentine's if St. Patrick's Day is coming up you can get a nice big giant green bow tie and put that baby on everybody's wearing them if you saw the Oscars this weekend just about every guy that was there had a bow tie on. they're coming back they're in style they're fashionable they look really really nice go out get yourself a bow tie and you can look fly thank you